picture the Internet of Things as a giant extension of the current Internet of People, which is roughly only three and a half billion people, but sensor networks, environmental controls, logistics, cars, wristwatches, suits, eyeglasses, uh, everything connected, uh, because sensors are becoming really cheap. So in the end, we end up with this, you know, Internet of Everything and what's called smart everything. So as, as Kevin Kelly likes to say, you know, first we electrify and we digitize and now we cognify, we make it smart. And that creates tremendous opportunities and responsibilities, of course. But imagine being able to save on energy, stopping pollution, uh, shortcutting logistic costs and the healthcare in the cloud. So vast opportunity of that data to become intelligent, to help us to figure out what to do next. This is clearly a huge opportunity, just as big as the internet itself. We're getting more and more data. Data is going like, you know, exponentially exploding zettabytes basically every day. And we don't have enough computer intelligence and computer power to process the data. So once we have quantum computing, which is soon, and then artificial intelligence, and once we have security, and we have safety, and we have protocols in place and accountability, then, you know, it's the takeoff point for the IoT. Quite clearly, I would say that uh, the IoT and artificial intelligence are probably going to have more impact than the industrial revolution. <laughs>